Hello guys! You know you have to go Facebook Live and you're always like, yeah, I know, I should, I will, I'll do it next week. And there's always something that comes into the way and you have an excuse why not to. I understand that. It's so outside our comfort zone. But hopefully today I can help you at least a little bit to start Facebook Live. My name is Lenka Katzloa and I helped hundreds of business owners and brands to build their position in the market and I also help entrepreneurs to build their online businesses. I help them to live their dream lifestyle and enjoy their passions and actually get paid for it. So how can you start Facebook Live today with no excuses? I have three things for you today. First, you don't actually need anything. If you want to look professional, you don't need to use any professional studio. All you need is good lighting and all you need is natural light. Go to your window or go outside and you have all you need. If you don't, if you don't have a microphone, then stay inside in a quiet room and use the what you have. I have two little kids, trust me, it's absolutely fairy tale maybe for me when those kids fall asleep at the same time and I have a quiet room. It's impossible to get that situation. So you can do it too. And if you are nervous, don't worry about anything. Write down notes what you want to say. If there are several things, like today I have only three, but you have more points that you want to discuss and you move away from that topic, write down some few notes of the points you want to cover and you'll get back on track. So don't worry, you will know what to do. Second thing, stay short. People lose attention, so they're not going to stay with you the whole time and if you broadcast for 15-30 minutes, it's too long for them. First, they don't have time and second, they, no matter what they wanna, um, not they wanna, they will lose uh, the attention. If there are like really, really good fans of yours or uh, they really need those answers and you have a lot of things to say, they might stay. But usually people lose attention and they go away and maybe come back for the replay. So start to stay, uh, start, uh, try to stay as short as possible and just give them the answers they are looking for. With this, um, you should value the time of those people. And maybe one thing for those who use really Facebook Live for their businesses and for marketing, you want to keep them a little bit longer, but not, not too much. Like, five to 15 minutes maybe, because you are getting back the reach Facebook actually take, took away from us. All those who have business pages, we know how hard it is to get the reach back. With Facebook Live, it's amazing. Oh my gosh, guys, go do Facebook Live because not only you will have the reach for that video, but also for the whole page. Facebook wants you to do video and wants you to go live. So this is something he gives you back as a reward. You get the reach back really nicely. So go live. And third thing, if you are a billionaire or professional, no matter what, you wanna stay yourself. Be yourself. Imagine you're talking to your friend, you're having a coffee or a tea and be nice, be yourself, and talk to those people as you talk to that friend. That's like the biggest power you can, you can have and you can give to those people because they want to know you. They want to find out who you are, how you talk. That like, no like and trust factor. It, it's amazing with video. So stay yourself. <laughs> and with this comes maybe one tip. Always look in the, uh, uh, in the lenses. You keep eye contact with those people, no matter 
from what angle they watch you or if they're on the desktop or smartphone you always want to look them in the eye and you can make that by watching the lenses while you talk if you go to your comments then maybe say it and you see that when I watch the comments down there my eyes go away or when I look at myself I don't look at your eyes when when I look at the lenses I look directly at you so watch the lenses and try to try to smile that's that's for those people uh, it gives you totally new level of that discussion so those are the tips all you need is your smartphone natural light and maybe quiet room be yourself and try to make it short don't worry about that if if you don't want to talk way too much during the first broadcast just say who you are say hello to the people have some two three points you want to tell them something that moved you or you are at special place and you want to share that with them it doesn't always have to be educational you can visit some place and you think of those people and just say hi i'm here and i just had to share this place with you because and tell them that's all you need and maybe i'll teach you next time how to repurpose that stuff because it's amazing what you can do with Facebook Live. So, if you want to know more about this topic, about Facebook, about Instagram, that's something I'm most passionate about. But the whole social media thing just drives me. <laughs> so, click, I think right here, it's the right hand corner. Not sure. <laughs> and turn on the notifications and I will see you next time. Bye guys.